First of all, let's see its basic form. If n items are put into m containers with n greater than m, then at least one container must contain more than one item. Let's prove it. Assume by contradiction that n items are distributed among m containers and none of the containers contains more than one item. This way, the total number of items n in all containers is at most m. But wait, this implies that n is less or equal than m, but we assumed n to be greater than m. So there is a contradiction. That's it. Now let's see the general form of it. If n items are put into m containers, then at least one container must contain the result of the ceiling function of n divided by m. Let's see an example of the ceiling function. So 10 over 3 is around 3.333 and so on. The ceiling function gives the next integer greater than this number. So let's prove the general form of this theorem now. We're going to prove it by induction. We assume that if kn items are put into m containers, then at least one container must contain at least k items. Our base case is for k equals to 1. And the hypothesis is equivalent to the basic form of this principle that we just proved. So let's see the inductive step now. Assume that the hypothesis holds for some k. In other words, if k and items are put into m containers, then at least one container contains at least k items. Now consider k plus 1n items and m containers. By the inductive hypothesis, placing k n items into m containers results in at least one container containing at least k items. Remove the k items from the container. Now we have k plus 1n minus k, which is n items left. We place the remaining n items into the m containers. By the basic form of the pigeonhole principle, since n is greater than m, at least one container must contain more than one item. And therefore, adding back the k items to this container results in at least k plus one items in one container. Thus, the inductive step holds. And by mathematical induction, the general form of the pigeonhole principle is proved. I would just like to close the video by saying that the pigeonhole principle is a fundamental result in combinatorics and it has many applications in pure mathematics, applied mathematics, and even physics. Please let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see a video about these applications. Also, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're gonna love this one. See you guys there.